오빤 강남 스타일. 강남 스타일. 오빤 강남 스타일. 강남 스타일. All right, welcome to our third episode from Chapter 13, and this one's actually going to be one of our shortest one. Uh, we're going to cover just a single slide on this one, but first off, I want to give you go over some review from uh, what we've covered so far. Okay, so basically, what we've learned so far in Chapter 13 is there's three kinds of RNA. Okay, and this would be mRNA, which is messenger RNA which delivers information from the nucleus out into the ribosome and the cytoplasm. We have rRNA, which is going to be part of the ribosome. And then we have tRNA, which is the transfer RNA. And we want to remember some key stuff in here. rRNA's got codons. tRNA's got anticodons. And we want to remember that one codon is going to equal one amino acid. Okay. Uh, we also want to go over the differences between RNA and DNA. And they're basically this. RNA has a single strand. Get myself caught up here. Uh, RNA is going to have ribose instead of deoxyribose. And it's going to have uracil instead of thymine. <clears throat> and then on the previous one, Previous screencast, we went over transcription. And the information out of transcription we want to remember is it has three parts. Initiation. Let me see if I can come close to spelling that one. Initiation is when you bind to the promoter. Actually, it's going to be RNA primer, promoter. There we go. Uh, RNA polymerase will bind to the promoter. And then step two, we have elongation in which you actually are making the RNA. And then we're going to have termination when the RNA polymerase comes along a base sequence that's called the terminator. Arnold Schwarzenegger again. Okay, so what we're going to go over this one is, is we're going to have to edit the mRNA. And when we do this, we've got to make it ready so it can leave the nucleus and go out and find the ribosome, which will look something like that. So that's what this episode is going to be about, is like, how do we edit the RNA or mRNA in a eukaryote? All right, so let's get down to business. All right, eukaryote mRNA transcripts have to be edited. And it's going to be, it has to be done because eukaryotic DNA is different than prokaryotic DNA. It has things called introns and exons. Introns do not code for anything. And what we want to think about here is, is that the word intron means interrupt. In other words, we are interrupting the coding sequence. Uh, it's basically, it's just, we can't really transcribe it. We got to cut this stuff out. Right. Now, the exons actually code for something. All right, so... Interrupt introns. Just remember, no code. Exons have a code. So we're going to have to cut out the introns. We're going to have to splice together the exons, and then it's going to be ready to go. All right, so I'm going to clear that out because i got some more stuff coming up here. Okay, so the next step is we have to cut out the introns. And we need to splice the exons together. All right. Now, this is for a high school uh, freshman class. We're not going to know all the details. But the introns are cut out, and they form these really neat substances, which have a really funny name out of science. They're called SNRPs. All right. So look up SNRPs, uh, S-N-R-P's. Uh, Wikipedia, they'll tell you all about those. And then we have to add a cap, and then we have to add a tail. And we have a picture that's going to explain how this works. So I'm going to show you that right now, and then we'll just draw all over it. All right. So let's go with, let's try that color. That's green. Green will work. All right, so here's your DNA, and we have introns in purple, and we have exons. So remember, introns, no code. They don't code for a protein. And then exons, 
they're going to code for a protein. So we're just going to keep it simple. Okay. All right. So we're going to transcribe one side or the other. So we're going to go through transcription. Remember transcription? That's a process in which you make RNA. It's very similar to uh, DNA replication. If you want to go over the transcriptions uh, detail, go back to our previous screencast, Chapter 13, Part 2. And remember, nonsense DNA. <clears throat> this is the one that is being transcribed. Same as antisense. Whoops. That's not right. Do it this way. Transcribed. Spell it correctly. There you go. So we're actually transcribing the top part. The sense strand not being read. So we're not transcribing this one. And you'll notice that we have exons. We'll put an E for an exon. I'm going to put an I for an intron. So these red ones are introns. we got to get rid of them. So we're going to have to do three things. Number one, uh, actually it's four. So step number one, there we go. We're going to have to cut out the introns. Step number two, we need to splice or tape together the exons. And then step number three, we got to add a cap. And the cap is basically a backwards guanine base. And then number four, we've got to add a tail. And this tail is a poly A tail. Poly means many. So we're going to have lots of adenines put together. All right, so let's look down in here. What we've made here so far, remember it has no cap, no tail, still has introns, haven't put the exons together. This is actually called pre-mRNA. It's not ready to leave the nucleus. We've got to dress it up. All right. So we've added the cap. Remember, it's a backwards guanine base. We have our poly A tail attached. Now we've got to get rid of these introns. And we got to put these exons together. So the introns are now out. We've spliced. Let me fix this here. We splice the exons down here on this picture. And we have a cap. We have our poly A tail. And I like to call this here because it has cap, a tail, no introns. Exons are out. So in other words, we've done all four of these over here. I like to call this mature mRNA because now it's ready to leave the nest it can go out and handle itself and mature RNA will leave the nucleus and it can now go to the ribosome and at a ribosome you're going to make DNA I'm sorry did I say DNA we're going to make proteins so the ribosome will make proteins it's a little protein factory and we're going to learn about how that happens in our next screencast. Okay? I know we wrote all over this picture, but you really want to make sure that if you understand these four steps right here, you really get this screencast. And this only happens in eukaryotes only. Eukaryotes only. You have to have a nucleus. Okay? So make sure you got that right in there. All right? That's going to conclude this relatively short screencast. So uh, until next time, we'll catch you on the flip side.